Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, or Kakwadash. And the true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh. Who this word ignorantly calls God, and the true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah. Who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Ba'ashem, in the name, and Kakwadash, through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone ever well. And peace and blessing unto the elect, the hopeful elect. I'm your fellow servant, you want to come from the Great Millstone West Palm Beach camp. And Lord willing, this lesson is out of fine. And uh, the post here, what you see on the screen, I just want to say a few words. So it's more so going to be an exhortation. And I'm not going to make this lesson too long. You know, it's not like anything we haven't heard or been exhorted, all right, before. But it says, give a man pleasure and he will forget his goals giving man pain and heartbreak the beast within him will conquer the world and we have to understand uh why you know we are going uh, through this you know oh uh, the book of micah the seventh chapter says i will bear the indignation of the lord because i have sinned against him when you go into that word indignation it goes into righteous right uh, righteous hatred so we are going through um that fire okay we are going through the series of affliction catching hell and all those good things because we have sinned against the lord okay so that's why the lord has to break us down he has to give us pain he has to allow allow us to go through heartbreak okay so we can overcome ourselves in the book of revelation the 21st chapter in the seventh verse it says and he that overcometh all things it says he that overcometh shall inherit all things and he shall be my son and i will be his power all right, so we have to overcome and we have to overcome ourselves. We have to overcome Babylon. You know, we have to overcome all these obstacles that we may hey, receive our crowns, man. You know, and it's easy to say this right now, but hey, that's something that hey, you have to understand that hey, the Lord did not call you into this truth to be rich and famous and prosperous. All right, the Lord called you into this wisdom, knowledge, understanding to suffer. Okay, that's why it says give a man pleasure and he will forget his goals, you know And one thing we do understand is comfortability um, Comfortability uh, Being cool and there was another one spirit, you know, it's three C's Comfortability Which is comfort spirit you know I, I don't remember the three is slipping past my mind but a hey, comfortability is a killer all right and they wouldn't want to be comfortable you know we need to have that edge about ourselves that we can a hey, continue on in this faith continue on in this truth all right and uh, uh moses uh moses um you know in the book of hebrews the 11th chapter he said that He'd rather suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy pleasures of sin for a season. All right, so we have to understand that. All right, we have to truly understand what the scripture is saying. You know, Moses rather suffer affliction, and that's what we're doing right now. We are suffering affliction, okay? We're going through it. So when the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of all our hell, you know, the, the possibly the worst time you know, on the planet Earth, and we could be in the good graces of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, and we don't want to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, okay? Because a season is only for a time. All right, what we are seeking for is eternal. All right, uh, in the Book of Wisdom, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, I believe the third chapter. Um, the first or the third chapter in the 15 verse it says righteousness is immortality or immortal all right so that's what we're seeking uh second peter the third chapter you know uh seeking a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth of righteousness all right and we understand that word new going back into the greek means kind of going into a refreshing all right but nevertheless again the point of this lesson is you know, we have to go through the fire, man. We have to go through what the Lord is bringing us through to ultimately for us to overcome. Okay. And it's not easy. 
when you're going through it. But you got to think about the better good. You got to think about the long term. All right, we don't want to be short, short sighted in this truth, man. You know, so I don't want to ramble too much. But that was just uh, on my spirit. Again, it was uh, something short. All right, so again, brothers, hey, keep fighting, keep praying. Okay, strive unto the truth, unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You know, uh, seek. What does it say? Um, he, the heavenly Father, is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So we we we, we got to diligently seek the Lord day by day. Even in the book of Baruch, it says, as it was your minds to go astray, not being returned, seek him ten times more. So we have to seek the Lord, man. You know, daily, pray daily. All right, because hey, these demons, they ramping up, man. You know, these demons that want you to go back into the world, these demons that want you to, you know, be in the spirit of chasing money, you know, chasing these ain't worth nothing women out here, man. No, we have to keep the main thing the main thing, man. And that's why when you go through that pain and heartbreak, and I'm saying spiritually, all right, hey, go through it, feel it, all right? The scriptures speak about suffering righteously, man. All right, the last thing you want to do is complain, man, because you want to build yourself up, man. So, again, uh, give a man pleasure, he will forget his goals. And that's the spirit of uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, because what? Uh, Moses refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's, uh, of Pharaoh's daughter, you know, suffer, uh, rather suffering affliction with the people of the heavenly father than to enjoy pleasures of sin for a season. All right. So a Lord willing, this lesson was edifying until the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, everyone well, peace and blessing unto the elect, till next time, Shalom, and the Bible, Shalom.